Well, joining me now from Gaza is Ghazi Hamad, the former deputy foreign minister of Hamas and former chairman of the Border Crossings Authority in the Gaza Strip. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. It's been 10 years. Do you regret that you have not been able to make peace and reconcile with Fatah and the PA during this past decade? I think uh, this is a, a very painful story. We feel that we are very deep sorrow. Either in Hamas or Fatah or all Palestinian factions are very sorrowful. for yeah, not to achieve such a big goal for the Palestinians in order to have kind of unity and cooperation and coordination between Hamas and Fatah because really we are losing much of our energy in order to uh, direct the compass towards the the, the biggest challenge for us, which is the occupation. I think we spent a long, long, uh, long uh, time since 1993. We started negotiation and talks with uh, Fatah. But I think maybe there is a bigger problem in this, this, uh, 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 this talks or negotiation that it's not based on the strategic uh, uh, vision, uh, on the political platform, in order to deal with uh, all dimensions. But I think sometimes we we focused on some issues and some problems try to overcome some some troubles uh, because of this we reach this point that now we have a big we still have a big gap between Hamas and Fatah we have differences everywhere in all items in all uh, uh, points in all topics uh, but I think there is no there is no other choice we have to work together we have to to be unified not only Hamas and Fatah with all Palestinian factions because we cannot challenge Israel. We cannot uh, achieve our national goals. We cannot stop the, 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 the projects of the occupation in our territories without being united, without being unified. So I think that it is now we have a golden opportunity in order to work together and to start uh, with a serious negotiation and talks in order to uh, give our Palestinian people hope that someday we can do something for them and for the generation and also in order to achieve our national goals, to uh, put in, the, in for the occupation, to establish our state, to live in dignity and freedom, we have to work together. Mm -hmm. Hamas, they cannot work together alone, and Fatah, they cannot work alone. So we are in need in order to work together and to have a common vision and a strategic vision, especially to, to fight against the occupation. Now, you have absolute control over Gaza. You won an election 10 years ago. That was 10 years ago. Why don't you hold another election in the Gaza Strip? No, really, we, 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 all the time we are calling for, for uh, elections. We are not afraid from the elections. And we, we need the election in order to rebuild the political system and in order to refresh the political system of the Palestinian people. Well, and I think in the in the first uh, agreements uh, of the reconciliation in Cairo in 2011, we agreed in order to run elections after forming the unity government. And also in the Shati, what's called the Shati camp uh, uh, agreements, we uh, reconfirmed that we accept their elections again. And now in our talks with uh, Brother Fatih, now in Doha, we again uh, assure that we are interested to have elections, either inside the Palestinian territories or outside. So I think it's uh, no one can run uh, away from, from the elections, because I think it is a first priority for the Palestinians in order to give kind of legitimacy for the political system and for all Palestinian factions. So I think uh, no one, especially Hamas, it, it, Hamas is interested to, 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 to run the elections very soon in the Palestinian territories, because really, we don't want to be split, we don't want to be, to be divided, and we don't also to be uh, this uh, division used by Israel in order to make kind of propaganda against the Palestinians that they don't deserve a state, they don't, they don't deserve democracy. So I think we need, and we call all the time, all the time, that we have to have elections in the Palestinian territories and also for the National Council uh, election. Yeah, now it is reported that unemployment is now at 45% in the Gaza Strip. 80% of residents rely on foreign aid. Now, yes, there is a blockade. Yes, there is a siege of the Gaza Strip, granted. But you do get aid from allies and sympathetic countries. Why haven't you, as the ruling authority, been able to make life less miserable for the 1.8 million Palestinian residents of Gaza? Look, this is our priority. We want to ease the life of people here. 
And I think we are trying all the time, we are working hard, but sometimes I know that the first, uh, or the biggest challenge, <coughs> sorry, the biggest challenge for us is the division. Because of this, we want to have, we want to form a unity government in order to be responsible for the West Bank and Gaza, and also Jerusalem, uh, or, or what's called under the, the control of the Palestinian Authority, in order to ease the life of people. But I think that uh, on the other side, we need from the international community to exert more pressure on Israel, in order to, uh, to to lift the siege and, and, and the embargo in Gaza, in order to allow for the gates to be opened for the export and import and for the movement of people and for the access of people. But really, there is no enough uh, pressure from the international community in Israel to do that. So I think in Gaza we are suffering. I, I, and you should not also forget in the West Bank, people are, maybe in Gaza we are suffering from siege, blockade, embargo, but in the West Bank, People are suffering from settlements, from confiscation of lands, from uh, checkpoints, from sanctions, from uh, uh, different kinds of torture against the Palestinians. So I think we are, we are, as, as I said, we are in need in order to unify the political uh, system in order to 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 uh, recruit all the Palestinian people, all Palestinian factions for one goal is to put in for the occupation and to ease the life of the Palestinian people in the in the Palestinian territories. <coughs> Dr. Hamad, do you do you think that for as long as Hamas continues to build tunnels in order to attack Israel, that they will even <coughs> consider easing the blockade or the siege? You've had three major wars with Israel since 2008. <coughs> They're not going to ease restrictions. They're probably going to go to war again with you that will cause the deaths of hundreds, maybe even thousands of innocent Palestinians if you continue to build those tunnels for military means. Don't you think it's time to rethink the tunnel strategy? <coughs> Look, first of all, we, I, I can say we are in Gaza or the West Bank, we are still under the occupation. And we are suffering from the aggression and from the policy of the Israeli occupation forces against Gaza, <coughs> either in the blockade aspect or in the in the military aspect. Yani, uh, from time to time, you are uh, surprised with a new Israeli campaign against Gaza, against civilians, against people here. So I think we need to defend ourselves. And we have to, to protect our people here. We should not be also naked from everything and let Israel to fight against us, to kill our people, and to destroy our home, to destroy the infrastructure and everything in Gaza, in Gaza and we are keeping silent. I think all Palestinian factions there, they are doing everything in order to defend ourselves. But why is Israel taking a, a different measures and different actions in their side to protect themselves, or sometimes they use technological and high technological uh, tools in order to, uh, to, 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 uh, to defend their, their civilians there? I think we, in the last five years, we were witnessing three wars against Gaza, three brutal wars. We have about thousands of people were killed. I think the second point, we are not interested to have a new war. We as a Palestinian, we are fighting for our freedom and for our independence and for our dignity. We don't want just to fight for fight. We don't want uh, uh, just to fight uh, against occupation because they are Jewish or not. No, I think we are fighting for our dignity because we are living really in the miserable situation. As I said before, it's not only in Gaza, also in the West Bank. So I think that the, 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 the key for this, that Israel should confess that they should put in for the occupation and to allow the Palestinians to establish their state and to put in for the tragedy and the dilemma for the Palestinian people. But uh, otherwise, you'll find all the time uh, conflict, tension, confrontation, hatred, war. So we, as a Palestinian, we want to live uh, as uh, all, all the, the peoples in the world, as a Brazilian, Chinese, Turkish, everyone. But now we are living in a miserable situa situation. By peaceful means, I think we spent 22 years in negotiation and talks with Israel from Palestinian uh, organization, but uh, Israel insisted not to, to recognize the Palestinian as the uh, partner and to build more settlements and to destroy an opportunity for a peaceful solution in the Palestinian territories. So sometimes people say, let us not to fight against occupation. So I, I think we want to, 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 we want to live like a uh, normal life. We want to live uh, as all people in the world, but really we need from the international community to help us and to exert more pressure in Israel to stop its aggression against our people. Ghazi Hamad, thank you very much for your time. Good to talk to you.